I'd like you all to imagine that you're having someone over for tea. Now, there are a few important things that you should know about having tea, and in the next few minutes I will be explaining each of them to you. Let's begin with perhaps the best thing you could remember. If someone does not want tea, then don't pour them any tea. You cannot force someone to drink tea if they're not thirsty for it. You could ask someone, do you want tea, and maybe they'll say yes. So you prepare the water, put everything in the kettle, and finish making the tea. But the person has every right to say no to your tea, even though they said yes before. You spent all that time making the tea, but you have to accept that no one will drink it. No one will ever drink your tea. Now if you made someone tea in the past and they enjoyed it, that does not mean that they want your tea again. You're creamy, hot, satisfying tea. You know, now that I think about it, I could really use some tea right now. I can imagine seeing the tea bags slowly dip until they reach the gentle embrace of the rising fluid, waiting until the kettle reaches full climax and screams signaling that the tea is ready. I never thought I'd have tea until I was ready to eat breakfast. Wait for breakfast, I'd always say. But you know, I want tea now. Maybe I shop around, experiment, try all sorts of tea. Yet I've heard some types of tea are simply bad. There's no way around it. They're just unhealthy. Like if you're forced to serve someone tea just so they won't tell a secret they may have on you. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Because that goes against what I was saying from the very start. If someone does not want tea, don't pour them any. Don't force anyone to make you tea. That's not fair. It's not right. I don't understand it. I also don't understand why people film themselves having tea. What are you going to do? Study the tapes later? Like I imagine someone sitting next to a projector with a pad of paper taking notes on their performance. Will this help you in any way? And did you get permission to film someone else having tea with you? This is just too complicated. I give up. Everyone should just stop having tea. No tea until everyone gets it right. I hope I educated you on how to properly enjoy tea, and make sure that the people around you are enjoying it too. If you learned something from this video, please leave a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'm Bloomus02, and tea is sex.